Hello friends, welcome back. Mehjubin here. In this class, I am going to narrate the summary of William Shakespeare's Sonnet 11. Those of you who haven't checked out my previous video featuring line-by-line -line explanation of Sonnet 11 can do so later by visiting the playlist. You will also find the explanation on the end screen of this video. The poet addresses the fair youth yet again in Sonnet 11. He says that a man has every chance of preserving his good looks, although his beauty will decrease with increase in his age. However, to achieve this end, he must have children. If he has children in his life, he would find his beauty growing with the growth of his children. His beauty will grow even if he moves away from his youth. The fresh, youthful blood of his children will make him feel young, although in reality he has changed his root and he is no longer young. The poet defines such a life as wise, beautiful and productive. The presence of children makes a man's life meaningful. Without having children to inherit his good looks, a man's life can be a blunder. Age will deplete his energy and resources. Without having fathered children, a person would be moving faster towards the path of decay and destruction. If every human being in this world was like-minded and had no interest in having children, the world would end in 60 years. Next, the poet says that those people who had not been destined to have children stay unproductive and ruthless. They would eventually disappear from the face of the earth without leaving behind any fruit. Such people are harsh. Being childless, they have no shape or form to leave behind. The poet says that amongst all those people who had been amply blessed by Mother Nature, the fair young friend has been the one who had been the most gifted because he is the most beautiful of people who have graced the earth. He has been blessed abundantly and so he should take the initiative to preserve his beauty even more. The poet concludes by saying that nature has created his handsome friend with the purpose of having his beauty stamped in the world. It is the responsibility of the friend to make copies of his beauty so that the stamp of his good looks does not fade away. Well, that's all for today. I'll meet you again with line-by-line -line explanation of English poet Robert Southey's poem, The Scholar. Make sure that you do not miss it. Bye.